So Cyprus is entering into its 25th year. During the 2015 storms, uh, all our bunkers were contaminated uh, due to storm damage. So this year we've uh, entered into a refurbishment of all bunkers. So um, we've got uh, some new, new and improved bunkers. We're actually reducing the total area of our bunkers, mm -hmm. um, but also to modernising it to, to suit the modern golfer. Yep. Um, we're into a 16 week project, we're about three quarters away, uh, hoping to have it all finished by uh, mid-winter, um, ready for, the, for our 25th anniversary uh, with all the celebrations in September. Um, this year we're rebuilding uh, 96 of the bunkers and um, so far we're extremely happy with, with how things are going. So Craig, are there any, any specifics you can share with us about, you know, what, what you're doing with the actual construction? So predominantly our biggest problem we had here at Cyprus was a lot of the surface water was running into the bunkers. So what we've done with the new design is we've actually camped a lot of the edges to divert the surface water from running in. Um, so we've rebuilt from the ground up. So we're redoing sub bases. We're actually putting a, a poly liner in uh, just to stop the contamination from the clay through to the sand profile. Yep. And we're also using the, uh, the USGA spec sands as well. What we've decided to do on our bunker edges, rather than having the classic formal edge, we're having it a bit uh, rustic. So still the classic shapes, but we're leaving the, uh, the edge of the bunkers just a little bit rustic. Yep. We also reduce the amount of sand that we actually have to prepare as well. So um, that'll also reduce on our man hours. What were really the objectives you sought to meet? Well, prior to construction, we were losing revenue um, through the doors because our bunkers were out of play. We'd have uh, five to eight mils of rain and our bunkers would be out of play. So financially, being the course um, closed during those periods, it just wasn't a viable option any longer. So now that we've put the new liners in and we've drained the bunkers, um, added new sand and created new water movement away from the, from the surface water falling into them, um, that'll make a massive reduction financially for the organisation yep. and uh, that was one of the major reasons why we invested in the redevelopment. Mm -hmm.